Oh, I didn't see you come in. Yet again, <coughs> you're back. Just couldn't stay away, could you? Name Detective Metal, paranormal investigator at jail service. She already knew that, didn't she? I see. <coughs> I see that you brought me another case. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see that paperwork. Ah, I see. I see. The legend of voodoo priestess Julia Brown and her husband. Oh, this does sound quite exciting. Spit is it? Are you all going to go down to Mancac Swamp, Louisiana? All the way up here? Are you paying for travel? I hope you are, sir. Hmm. It says here that Julia died, cursing the whole town. And after her death, three hurricanes hit the area, leaving death and destruction behind. My, that does sound like a curse to me. You know what? I think I'll take this case. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, here we are. Perdita. Another indie horror game. Oh, quite exciting, too. Based on an urban legend. I'm looking quite forward to adventuring this with you guys. Let's just jump into it. Mmm. Ah, so this is the infamous Julia Brown and her husband's house. Husband doesn't have a name. I'm gonna go with James Brown. We are looking for anything. Anything. That could relate to the urban legend of this fine, fine lady herself. I don't agree with what they did to her. If they did anything. We don't know, because we haven't investigated yet. This is what makes me such a good paranormal investigator. Or detective. Hmm? Yes. Fuck! Standing by there. I am researching for a book. Yes. A book on your house if you're still here. Wait, she's not here, because she is dead. That did not spook me. I have seen much, much worse. Oh my god, that was scary. After 20 years, this house still looks miraculous. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, beautiful painting. This is aged very fine. This is aged very fine indeed. So no one's been in this house since she has died and she has cursed the land. I mean, her house still stands after all those hurricanes. Ah, here it is. This is her. This is Julia and her husband. This is a fine looking house, man. Oh, painting. What's with these sounds, man? Oh, my heart is pounding. It's a, it is a little cool in here. You know, being Louisiana it is a little cool in here. I feel like there, there may have been some squatters in the area just squatting down, hunkering down. Uh, yes, there has been. We have some needles here. Looks like someone's been shooting up heroin. Yeah. Them damn Louisiana rock stars coming in here and shooting up. Never do heroin, kids. I'll lead you down the path of crime. You don't want Detective Metal coming after you. In life or the afterlife. You hear that? You dig? Don't be square. Julia Journal. Number one. I keep having the same dream. I dream I am sitting on my porch. I sing my usual song. I wish everyone in this town will die. Damn, Julia. Yo, I disturbed young lady. The day I pass away... I call upon the spirits of air. I see into the future. All the hate you cast shall come back to you eternally. So moat it be. Moat. I don't know what that means. I think we're not alone in this house. All right. So is there anyone in here? Please show yourselves. I am carrying a concealed weapon. My fists. I don't need. I don't use guns. I don't condone guns. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's, that was weird. Where'd that come from, man? Oh, oh, I said, I said, I said, spirits of the abyss, you better back off and show yourself right now. Appear to me, Detective Metal, right now. Show yourselves. Let's turn on the lights here. Holy Louisiana dick. Oh, we got a nice storm brewing outside. Good thing we are inside this haunted house. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to say that's a very bad thing indeed. Hello? People still in here? There we go. Oh. Oh my lord. That is some creepiness right there. Not my kind of show, but hey man, if, you, if she enjoyed it, more power to her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <gasps> a, we have just stumbled upon an interesting looking animal ghost. 
I'm not sure what kind it was. It seemed to have hind legs. Ah! Derp. I've recently been on a few fishing trips. I love being away from my wife and enjoying nature. It is an artist's wonderland, you could say. Nature in itself is a piece of art. Still, I find myself dwelling on creating the perfect piece. The electricity has been acting up again in our old house here in Manchur. Manchak. Where am I? <laughs> right. Manchak. I think I left the gas can uh, to this generator in the fishing supply room. The only problem is, I can't seem to remember where I put the key. I think I might have dropped it somewhere in the bathroom. I'll have to go looking for it soon. Not only this is electricity acting up, but we seem to be plagued by a damn rat infestation. Those goddamn creatures will gnaw through everything. I apologize. I shouldn't use our Lord's name in vain. Thank is Jesus. Remain steadfast, Charles. Remember, Jesus loves you. Yes. Jesus loves you. Huh. That did not sound like Jesus. That sounded like... There's a goat on my head. There's a goat on my head. Oh, my God. Julia's journal number two. My husband stays up late every night. I'm starting to think he loves his aunt more than he loves me. Oh, I even put spells around the house for him to notice me, but nothing seems to help. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, so Julia was not the one to be painting. Her husband the one painting. Oh, I see. So Julia was a little bit upset about her husband not paying attention to her. Mm. Maybe he had a good point to not pay attention to you, Julia. You ever think about that? Spell to attract an item to you. Ancient one of the ancient earth. Older than time can tell. Grant me the power of your command to work my magic spell. I wish for a million dollars. Didn't work. Well, you know. Magic. Magic never works all the time. It only works about 20% of the time. Ah! Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It seems here we have an infestation. A paranormal infestation coming out of these walls and we cannot get by it in order to get by this we're gonna have to cut them out like a tumor so we need to look for a trusty knife unfortunately i didn't bring any knives with me ha <sighs> ha 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 oh my god there are so many animals around this house it is ridiculous julia's journal number four people keep coming to my house to get charms and healing i wasn't always this bad person that the locals made me to be. The truth is, the townsfolk started to take me for granted, so I started to research hexes and curses. I would predict when horrible occurrences would happen to people. My predictions would almost always come true as well. I don't see any more of her journal entries. Found a key, though. I found a key. All right, maybe this key will unlock a door over here. Ah, there we go. We have unlocked a closet. Hmm, what do we got here? We got a nice guitar. So she played guitar. Oh, her husband played guitar. Musical folk, these people are. Okay. All right, let's head around back here and see if we miss anything. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I thought that was Julia herself. Oh, it seems we have something happening here. Oh, it's, miss, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you okay? Miss, miss. Entity that is controlling mannequin. <laughs> Stop it right now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, my God. What the hell is this thing? Ow. This was not here before. I am quite... I am quite concerned for my life right now. Derp. Is this mannequin reenacting my my uh, run-through of the house? This is quite, quite exciting. It's like I'm having an outer body experience. Seems like we have found a flashlight. A little late for that, don't you think? All right, so apparently we can open doors. Oh, another key. Oh, look at this. We have found a key. With my great investigation skills, we have found another key for the red drawer. Where is this red drawer? I do not know. I do not remember seeing a red drawer in this area. Now, I'm pretty sure we are missing something. We have checked everywhere in the house. We have checked everywhere outside the house. But I just can't seem to find anything. If Oh, I think... We have found the missing piece. Dining room key. That is the key I have been searching for this whole time. And it was outside where we first were. Right. Oh, goddamn Jim and the Cricket. Old spyglass. They like to spy on their neighbors. These people were drug addicts and creepers, man. My husband Charles and I would ra rarely have guests for dinner. 
but when we did, I made sure everything was perfect. I forgot where this brain came from, but it would be the last thing I ate before I died. It tasted particularly sour with a slight sweetness to it. It reminded me that even in the worst of humanity, we can find some things to cherish. My sweet child, I wish you could paint a picture to illustrate this feeling I'm having now. Cannibals. A human brain. Oh, so when she said we had people for dinner, she actually meant having people for dinner. <laughs> Now I got more and more I discover about this lady and her family, more and more I find she is all messed up in the head. A mirror shows us our past, present, and future. Mine is crafted with the finest black obsidian with a handmade bronze frame. I spent countless hours looking to the abyss with myself. I am beginning to understand I have a beast within me. A certain urge we all possess. Something I must control. In the mirror I see my future. I see me being alone. Finally united with my unborn little boy. So, she miscarriage. Is that why she's so angry? Derp. Who? What is happening? Who is trying to scare me? Who goes there? Is anybody outside? Are you stalking outside? Better not be stalking outside. I will punch you in your throat. Oh my god. That is a cheeky place to hide the key. Oh my god. Fishing room key. Why are you doing a hiding key there? Oh god, no wonder it's taking me forever to find. Holy crap. Hmm. So these people were fishers too, eh? You don't scare me, Julia Brown. You don't scare the great metal detective. You hear me? You hear me? I'm scared. Let me out. I'm scared. I'm not scared. You scared me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh shit. Alright. I mean, you burned away the arms. Ooh, things are getting a little bit eerie up in here. Who are you? Okay. Oh, I see the eyeballs coming out. We, we, maybe we just we just leave. Alright, we in this room now. I don't know if I want to be in this room now. <laughs> oh my god. This house is more haunted than I expected. Journal entry number 10. I sometimes lock myself in the mannequin room. Sometimes I practice turning them alive. Charles has said, You saw one of them stand beside our bed late at night. I tell him not to worry. I leave them under control. They, they trust me indefinitely. She's going crazy. This lady needs help. Derp. Why are they all looking at me? Guys, creep me out. Stop looking at me. Creepy dolls, dude. Oh. Oh, is this room dedicated to her baby that she lost? Some old binoculars. So she was a pervert, too. Her and her husband are both perverts. The fuck are they doing? Oh my god. I, pu I, I, I put a protection spell on myself. And I am fine and dandy. For long ago, Charles and I tried everything to have a child. When countless attempts failed, I would blame Charles for it. Even though I knew it was because of my body, I decided to make my own child into a doll. Oh yeah, I put a wish spell to turn this doll into a real child. Eventually, the he would become alive at night. I loved him, but Charles never could accept him and hated me for what I had done. Well, lady, I wouldn't accept you either if you brought a damn freaky deaky demon child back from the dead. Aha, uh -huh. a key. We have found another key. Yes, bedroom key. I thought we were in the bedroom. All right, this is the bedroom. Loft. That's the loft. But this right here. Is the bedroom key? I hear Satan behind there. Satan. Oh boy. Oh my lord. Hell have mercy on me. Oh. Oh. Journal number eight. My husband Charles believes in his savior Jesus Christ. I do not believe in religion. I believe in it enslaves us into thinking a certain way. I am, however, highly spiritual. I can sense energies all around us. I let Charles put his savior up above our bed. At night, I feel the, the statues. Dead eyes staring at me. So she was she was not religious, but her husband was. Jesus. Yeah, I'd be weirded out too. Oh boy. What happened in here? We got a key. Maybe she got angry. And she destroyed all of his paintings and art supplies. Well maybe if he paid more attention to you. I can I can see I can see why he got so angry. We got another key. We got the loft key. Oh my god. Holy water! Yeah. 
Oh, no, I got water everywhere. <laughs> I'm closing the door behind me because I do not trust things coming up from behind me. I did not roll that way. There was a murder here. There was a murder. We found it. An axe. But who murdered who? Did the husband murdered the wife? Monkey? Uh, tell me right now. You're a witness to the murders, weren't you? you? Tell me right now. Who murdered who? Number 11. I always keep the loft room door locked. I have been creating my own little world in this place. My healing sessions with visitors also take place here. Hence why the additional beds. I love helping my patients. I would record our sessions through the answering machine and tapes. I would edit them on floppy disks on the old PC. But all of this went horribly wrong on the 8th of September. Lately a dark presence has been lurking in the house. I can feel it in the walls, in the air, in my mind. An intruder is lurking in the house. An intruder which the eyes cannot behold. I am afraid I cannot keep this a secret anymore. I, Julia Brown, murdered my last patient with an axe to the core I even tried eating his brain in the dinner room afterwards. Well, that's just... That's just not right at all. I tried to clean the bed also, but it was impossible. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of blood? I do, actually. The presence took control of me. Oh, God, please forgive me, Charles. Please forgive me, everyone. Ah, here we go. I got my ass. Beat this door down. Beat it down right now. We, we are investigating Julie Brown. Myth legend, what is behind the door? That doesn't seem good at all. Locals used to remember me as a beloved local healer. Now I ran revengeful type to the person that is reading this. This is my confession. I, Julian, murdered my husband, Charles. I locked him inside this coffin after I killed one of the patients and I ate a part of their brain in the dinner room. I could hear Charles gasping for air and yelling for hours when, he, when the silence finally came. I took a final glance at his lifeless body. After this, I went to the ta uh, tallest tree outside the bathroom window and hung myself for I knew this evil spirit that has taken over me will bring me back even more powerful but but on one condition I can never leave this place unless I destroy it completely and unless a living soul discovers my secret if you are reading this you are already dead you cannot kill me you cannot kill me let me out let me out right now who the hell was that did I die bitch Detective Metal is still alive. Better no investigator at your servers. Well, I just have to say, I have to say another case is solved. We have burned the house down, vanquished the evil spirits, like many others I have done. I have to say this game was pretty enjoyable. I love investigating and finding out the story and unraveling the case of this Julia Brown. Um, urban legend, I don't know if it's true. I, I'll, I'll need to look into that for sure. What did you all think of the video? Did you enjoy it? What do you think of the game? I thought it was pretty neat. Anyways, I'm going to end the video there. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.